Itinanghal na nga ang mga sumusunod na kandidata bilang top 5 sa 69th Miss Universe 2020. Dahil sa bagong rules at protocol ngayon ng Miss Universe Organization, ang top 5 candidates lamang ang siyang mabibigyan ng chance upang sumagot sa final question and answer round sa Miss Universe. Noon kasi ay meron pang opening speech ang bawat kandidata. Ngunit dahil sa protocol na no sharing of microphone, minabuti nila na lima lamang ang haharap sa Q&A. Ito ang buong question and answer. Top 5 Miss Universe Mexico 2020 Andrea Meza If you were the leader of your country, how would you have handled COVID pandemic? I believe there's not a perfect way to handle this hard situation such as COVID-19. However, I believe that what I would have done was create the lockdown even before everything was that big. Because we lost so many lives and we cannot afford that. We have to take care of our people. That's why I would have taken care of them since the beginning. Tell us something about changing beauty standards. We live in a society that more and more is more advanced. As we advance as the society, we also advance as a stereotypes. Nowadays, beauty is not only the way you look. For me, beauty radiates not only in the spirit but in our hearts and the way that we conduct ourselves. Never permit someone to tell you that you're not valuable. Thank you. Top 4 Miss Universe India 2020 Adeline Castellino Should countries lock down due to COVID despite the strain on their economies or should they open their borders and risk the potential increase in infection rates? Good evening, Universe. Well, Coming from India and witnessing what India is experiencing right now, I have realized something very important. That nothing is more important than your health of your loved ones. And you have to draw a balance between economy and health. And that can only be done when the government works with the people hand in hand and produces something that will work with the economy. Thank you. Tell us something about free speech, and the right to protest. The right to protest. We've seen many protests in the recent days. Especially, I want to point out the protests that women have made throughout the years with equal rights. Until today, we are lacking them. Because protests help us raise our voice against what's happening, against inequality. It helps minority and they need democracy to raise their voice. So the protesters are very important. But what's not important is when you use it. Because with every right comes with responsibility. So use it with power. Thank you. Top 3 Miss Universe Brazil 2020 Julia Gama In many countries, women are still considered incapable of being world leaders. Convince these countries that they are wrong. Women are such an important part of this society and just because we are not encouraged in the same way that men are, we, are have, we have our potential wasted. The world needs women contributions because we came for some reason and I invite every woman to understand that we are the leaders of our lives and yes, we can do a lot for our communities. So please, take your power. Tell us something about mental health. Mental health is still a very stigmatizing topic and it keeps us from giving the right assistance to those in need. So, may we all tonight remember to normalize conversations about anxiety or depression because we also hurt sometimes, but we don't need to face it alone. May we all come together because togetherness is our strength and together we can overcome anything. So, let's support each other. Let's share empathy. 
Thank you. Top 2 Miss Universe Dominican Republic 2020, Kimberly Jimenez. The night she won Miss Universe of Zini Tanzi explained the importance of teaching leadership to young girls. How would you do that as Miss Universe? Good night. Thank you for the question. I came from a family completely filled with women of which helped me, propelled me to help them today. Working with my nonprofit, Athenas de Cristo, I understand that I don't need a title to be able to help others to be able to support them. Thank you. Tell us about global poverty. During this pandemic, my country, Dominican Republic, has risen to 23% poverty rate. For me, being able to be in front of you guys representing Dominican Republic, that makes me incredibly proud that it will help my tourism and us as human beings that we have to realize that there are so many people out there that need our help and we can overcome anything. Thank you. Top 1 Miss Universe Peru 2020, Janik Maceta del Castillo What would you say to the women watching tonight who are currently experiencing sexual or domestic abuse? I will tell them that I admire their strength, that they're survivors, and that I've been there too. I became the hero of my own story. That's why I advocate to save little girls from being victims. They're survivors, they're heroes. They have the power, and don't ever, ever make anyone silence your voice. Tell us about climate change. It is our collective responsibility to start taking action in order to save our planet. Just by little by little, we can start making difference. Little by little, by recycling, by teaching young generations about taking care of our beautiful, beautiful earth. We're just here for one time. And this is the time that we have to start taking care of it. Thank you. There you have it mga showbiz peeps. Anong masasabi nyo sa mga sagot ng kandidata sa top 5? Just comment below.